Okay, today I'll be teaching you how to use the customized multiply and screen color for art meshes, especially how to use them with the Suica models. Ooh, it loads. It takes a while. I'll be using this model today to kind of show what I mean. If you've ever commissioned me for any of the Suica retextures, I always leave a list of instructions on how or what to change here in the mesh settings, and not a lot of people know how to use them, and they're really easy, I promise. So if you've seen, these eyes are custom uh, retextured by me. I did them for the wonderful Alice Lollipop, um, and she actually was the one that asked how to use the mesh settings, and I was like, okay, let me record a quick video then. For these eyes specifically, I only changed just a couple things, but I think by showing you how I did them, you can apply these to any other texture. And it doesn't have to be just the Suica models. This can be for um, your own models too. Uh, I think you'll just get the gist out of it here. So um, the mesh settings, and it kind of goes through the layers themselves. So um, like with the Suica uh, model, you can recolor within the V2 settings, like the, the actual Suica settings, but here you can take it just, it's, it's like a whole different notch basically. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, my left eye is different now. So this is basically just to show you what I mean by when you make something transparent or aka delete. You kind of delete it by making it transparent. So for example, as you can see, there's like these pointy things, like it's round around the eye and you can see how there's like little points there. I, I usually delete this mesh uh, uh, to kind of enhance the eye of it. So what I'm gonna do, it's called the iris rim. So I'm just gonna take this notch and make it transparent and see it's gone. So that texture is completely gone. It's it's there. You can obviously bring it back, um, but here in this in the settings, you have the multiply and screen after this. So you can actually recolor it any other color you want through here. You can make it pink. See, you can see how it's changing. You can, so if I wanted it lighter, it turns weird. Uh, you kind of just have to play around with this to kind of figure out what how to recolor things. So you multiply, you add the pink, and then now you press okay. And then now you have screen and now you make it lighter with screen. So it's kind of like multiply adds the color and then screen, you can make it darker or lighter. So you can just go back and forth until you kind of get that color that you kind of want. Uh, hold on, I kind of messed up here. But uh, yeah, basically you'll end up finding something. It, it's a trial and error thing if you want to like figure it out yourself. Um, obviously I leave instructions for everybody um, from what I liked in this eye. So the other eye, as you can see, I already found the balance that I liked. But usually with this texture, I usually just make it transparent. So another cool feature is that we just did the pink eye, right? We just did that. You don't have to write down the, um, the numbers of what you wrote down. You can just go here and then you paste the last multiply color. Okay, paste again, because we did both of them. Okay, see? The only thing is that let's say I clicked on anything else, then it'll copy, it'll, it'll paste the anything else that I already did. So you just wanna make sure if you redid a color on one, on one side and you wanna, or anything else, and you wanna paste the same colors that you did to anything else, make sure you do it right away or else, you know, it doesn't, it saves only the last thing you did, if that makes any sense. So usually I leave people instructions on how to find the name. So I'll, I'll put the name here and then you can use this little hourglass detective thingy here to find the name. But if you have trouble finding it, you, just by hovering around the area, you should be able to highlight it. And even if it doesn't highlight perfectly, you can still find it right here. So, and then you press the eyeball button right here and it'll blink and then now you know you're on the right one. So here I went ahead and made the texture um, mesh for the blue rim that's on the Suica models uh, more visible for you guys. This is usually the uh, standard color uh, that is usually there. Uh, you can't change it within the VTube Studio settings or for that other eye texture that I just showed you. So you usually do it here. Uh, you can do it when you recolor the texture uh, through, the, through the actual like retextures if you do it yourself or you hire a artist to do it for you. Um, but you can, you can edit it here. And these are the instructions that I usually give. So let's do the blue rim, for example. For her, I already gave her the multiply and I gave her the number code. So I'm gonna copy it here and I'm just gonna paste it here. It's gonna show weird, but just click anywhere else and see, <gasps> it turned brown. And then for the screen, it's actually at zero, so I'm not going to touch that. Easy peasy. So then I go to the other eye, click the blue rim, paste the last color since it's the same thing, and there you go. Easy peasy. It's, it's, it's literally that easy. I leave all the instructions here. So when I tell people, hey, make delete it or make it transparent, this is what, um, like the earlier time where I deleted that, I just put that A to, uh, slider and then I made it transparent. You can do anything here. So for example, I already recolored the hair within the VTube settings for the Suica model. And let's say I wanna, let's say I wanna recolor this part of the hair. It kind of, sorry, it's lagging because I'm streaming this. I have so many things open. So bang one mid contrast. So I don't, so I don't wanna recolor the contracts. I just wanna color the bang one mid. So I'm gonna find it. Bang one mid right here, <laughs> see? So when you click it once, it makes it white. It's kind of weird. But here I can make it, let's say I want this color, but much brighter. Now, well, it actually kind of makes it odd, but right here. That's how you can change colors of certain items as well. Um, another thing that I like to do here is soften like teeth. Like, uh, let me show you what the teeth look like when they're not softened. See, it's, you can see the outline is black. So what I'm gonna do is actually go into the screen only. Give it a little bit of gray. Ah, uh, you can see it, yep. And that's it. 
Um, I've also done it for a few other things too, like the ears. Um, they usually are automatically black outlined, which I feel like it doesn't go with the other outline of the body. So what I usually do is just kind of find a kind of normal color right here. Well, actually not normal, matching color. And then that's it. See, you can see the out black outline is gone and it matches like the neck outline and the, the rest of the body outline. Another little neat trick that I like is doing the uh, little eye glowy thing. So here is like, let's see how it's going right here. The little red dot. Let's do that one, for example. That's going to be highlight too. So default, it actually has a black outline. It looks much smaller because of the black outline. I, all I do is, actually, that's not what I do. <laughs> that's my bad. <laughs> all right, so what I actually do is I go to screen and I break it all the way white. So that deletes the black outline that that little glowy thing had. Um, and it, I think it looks so much cuter. I think it sparkles a whole lot more. But if you do want to delete the eye sparkles, let's say you are devoid of life and you you want no um, you want to take away anything that symbolizes life in your eyes, you can just do that and then it'll erase it for you. Um, and you can do that to anything, literally, as long as it's it's available in there. It's definitely possible. Another instruction I had for Alice was actually editing the glow part of this. So this Oops. So this has this one's called Highlight Big, but it has a glow aura around it. So I had to recolor it to this because I think the little brown, a slight tinge of the brown lighting will actually make it look so much neater. OK, so I think I know your next question now. What if I don't know how to import the retextures myself? Well, that's actually super easy. I actually made an entire video on how to actually import them in. It's available on my Twitter if you have any questions and I should be able to link it here, I think. I don't know. Look for it. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll watch it together so I can go and explain it to you with without, yeah, ignore my wallpaper. But yes, you do want to open any uh, program that you have. So if you have Adobe, Photoshop, which I honestly I've never used in my life. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other art program, I like Ibis Paint because if you have a um, like a Microsoft computer or whatever, it, it's you can get it in the little store and it's free to use for, I think, up to an hour a day. So I would recommend using that one. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, you want to open my gallery. You want to click that little plus sign that is just to open a new project. Uh, you want to import a picture. So when you import a picture, you want to upload the texture uh, that you, the custom one. So let's say you commissioned me or anybody else and they sent you the file of the uh, texture that, the, 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 whatever they just edited, right? That's the one you want to click on. And then you'll just make sure um, you have the right one. Yes, and then you click open. Make sure, okay, at least me and I know a few other artists will, um, send it to the uh, client uh, in the 4K resolution texture. So the 4K resolution is a big, a big file. Uh, it's, a, it's a big boy. So uh, you want to make sure you keep it at original size when you do this. Later on, you can actually, like, let's say if you're using the 2K texture, you can go ahead and resize it with a resizing program, which is going to be really easy. Don't worry. I, I forgot which one I usually use. I actually don't use them myself. But yes, you can find online. You look up um, resizer. Then you just make sure you resize it to... Oh, you'll resize it here. I'll put it right here. Yeah, that's what you resize it to. Anyways, for this, yes, you want to keep the original. And then you're going to hit cancel. I always hit cancel on that one. So here um, you have a set of tools. Don't worry if you've never digitally, digi if you've never digitally drawn, you don't, it's okay. You don't have to know all the details on it. Don't worry. I I'm giving you, I'm giving you all the details here. So you're going to hit the lasso tool. That's the little cowboy string, the one that they go yeehaw with. You're going to go ahead and select that. You click that and then you're going to lasso. Yeah, you're going to round up the items that you that the person that the artist uh retextured for you because sometimes like unless you get a full body retexture then you don't have to worry about it but like let's say i did the like for example we're doing the glasses here i only did the glasses for um for it so you're gonna just select that and this is if you already have everything else here retextured let's say there's custom shoes here or custom horns here or anything like that that it's already custom on from somebody else or you did it yourself or the artist did it previously or another artist did it previously whatever so this is only if you have other stuff here already drawn on top uh, if this is all blank then you can just kind of replace it good to go but if this is only if you want to select certain items assuming that everything else or some other things here are already drawn if that makes any sense so yeah you're gonna round up everything um and you can do with the lasso tool you don't have to like you can keep selecting like circle here circle here circle here circle here you, you can do as many as you like let's say there's more than one items let's say uh they did a commission for the glasses and the headband so you can select those two and then here I'm covering it, but yes, you're gonna want to press that invert button. It's it's a little button that looks like half black, half white, and then a little circle that's also half black, half white right here. That's gonna be the invert button. Um, that's gonna make that's gonna basically select everything else outside of what you lassoed. So if you circled here and here, it's gonna the invert button will select everything else that's not in that circle. And then you're gonna go ahead and click that little square right here and then just press cut. That'll just basically instead of using an eraser and going over it and erasing everything else, it's just gonna cut it out easy peasy. And then you're left with whatever was retextured. So now what you're going to do, oh yeah, you do want to make sure you press that remove selection tool because you don't want to keep it on there. 
um, you're going to go ahead and now import the actual texture that you're using now. So the, if, if this is the custom one, now you're going to import the one that you're currently using. And you can just do that by opening it from directly from the model file. So you're going to go ahead and select the same one. And now, see, the headband was previously made uh, black and so has the choker. It actually has little cat ears on there. So this is a custom one. Um, I didn't want to lose this and I just want to add the glasses. So what here I'm going to do, press cancel, same way. Now you're going to do the same thing as you did before with the lasso tool, except inverting. We're just going to select now the items we're replacing. So you're going to do that. You're going to do the same thing where it's just cut. And now it'll cut the old stuff that you had. And now you're left with just the new stuff. So the new retexture that you have. And that's basically it. Again, you want to make sure you 100% click uh, the deselect. That's really important because if you save it while having that uh, button select, like let's say this is still circled and then you click save, it only saves that little thing inside of the circle. So make sure you press remove selection and that's it. You're left basically with um, what, what you want as far as like the old texture and the new texture. And okay, here's the other questions that I usually get. Why does it matter? Why can't I just open it in a, why can't I just open a canvas and plot the image in there? Well, now you have to deal with the actual canvas size, uh, making sure you, you don't want to like put the image in and like make it bigger to fit that canvas. No, because anything that's too out of the boundaries of the original retexture, it's going to look weird when you load up the model. So by opening up the image uh, directly, it'll make the canvas automatically the right size for the image itself. So you don't have to worry about making sure, oh, I'm gonna open the canvas in this size. No, you don't have to worry about that. So as long as you follow these instructions, you don't have to worry about lining up the, the old texture on top of the new tech, none of that. No, it'll automatically open it right above the old one. So this is the easiest way, I promise. So after that, you just wanna make sure you um, save it. It'll save automatically transparent. Usually that toggle is usually on. So just make, but if it's not on, you wanna make sure it's, it's definitely selected as PNG and transparent. Um, then you hit okay. And then you're gonna replace it as the, the previous texture. So this texture is texture 06. So you're gonna make sure you rename it as such texture 06. Um, it'll replace it or you can manually delete it. And yeah, it says replace, perfect. And that's it. So if you are using a 2K model, uh, usually when, uh, if you do ask for the instructions for that or you get a retexture by uh, either my Ko-Fi, any of the freebie ones, cause I do offer freebies in my Ko-Fi. I do leave the instructions there. I just don't know them by memories. So you automatically always get a 4K texture. So if you need to use it for a 2K texture, you wanna resize it to these numbers. So in any other program that you open it, you can just go to Google and go program or re resizing, resizer for files, PNGs, whatever. You wanna make sure you're gonna resize it to that and then you're perfect, you're all good. It's much better than uh, resizing a 2K into a 4K. Uh, you lose resolution, so it's better to go from a 4K to a 2K. And then luckily for you, if you ever want to use a 4K uh, retextures or textures, you already have them because the artist that you got them from or me or anybody else who did it for you and did it in the 4K, now you have the 4K. Hold on, let's, see. let's look at my shop real quick. <laughs> That's me. Uh, so I offer a lot of uh, Suica um, things that you can download. Uh, let's see, uh, textures, there we go. So I actually offer a lot of little uh, things for the Suica model. Um, I don't offer as many as other people, that's for sure, because I'm lazy. But I do offer these. Uh, so this is perfect if you, let's say you want to have these eyes one day and then you want to do a spooky season because it's almost Halloween. You can get the Halloween ones. So this is how you can switch back and forth between uh, different eyes and stuff like that. Um, or like even, I don't know, main costumes. You can do all of this and it's fun. It's it's a good trick to use. Uh, and it's, it's really important to know how to use mesh settings if you want to become much better at using VTube Studio itself. Like I said, it's not something that you need to use just for the Suica models. You can definitely use those uh, recoloring tricks and deleting things um, for any model. And the same way that we did the whole deleting and making items transparent, you can make the entire body transparent if you ever buy or get a body only asset. So that's how people, they just erase everything else from the body except the neck and the head and then they replace, they, they put the body texture. So yeah, yeah, it's very fun. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always reach to me via VGen or Twitter. And I am on VGen. Yes, I'm going to be uh, plugging myself here, uh, even though it's my video, whatever. Uh, but I do offer these retextures like I did with this model right here. I do offer them for $7. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you do want them, uh, I think uh, while they're still available, I have them available. So yeah, yeah, VGen, VGen, here, here is my contact stuff. I know it says coming soon, but I'm already come no i'm already here so you can find me <laughs> you can find me here uh and i offer other little things here too i offer anyways oh uh, yeah okay bye